Houston prosecutor says this. this is not the first time viral brick lady has made false claims of assault. Let's play this video and I'll get my commentary on this. The woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the Galleria with the latest, Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osmond. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Seen here in tears in a hospital gown. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osmond hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor? She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence that I have suffers on September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually am talented. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded and Rhoda Osmond has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osmond did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston police. We're live near the Galleria. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bryce, thank you. Let's ship. <sighs> this one right here making false allegations. What if that man went to jail on some false allegations? He'd have been in prison. But this one right here lying and et cetera. I wonder where the sisterhood on this one. They're going to stay silent on this one. Let me see the two comments right here. I mean, she just said they made a false allegations. The woman at the center. Um, I mean, it just getting so bad now that these female right here was said a lie and etc. So tell me your thoughts about this lying female because she's a liar. She don't want to be held accountable for her actions. And she said they're slapping dudes for no reason. So. Tell me your thoughts about this video. I'm out. Peace. Like, share, subscribe.